Hey guys, it's Alex here, and today I've got another After Effects tutorial for you. And today I'm going to be going over um, how to composite an explosion into um, a scene or a cinematic or whatever. So you can see here, um, we've just got this cinematic. I've already done a tutorial on how I made all the um, glass shatter out, so how to recreate the uh, glass and then make it sort of suspend in midair. I've also done a tutorial on how to make all the glass pieces then form some text. But now today I'm going to be going over how I made these explosions in the background and how I composited them in and made them look so realistic. So we shall jump straight into this. So what I'm going to do is I've just got the uh, composition clip and everything here. Actually now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my main composition and I'm just going to delete um, let me just uh, hide, let me just toggle these off and now basically I'm just going to delete everything except the um, motion track and we'll delete the glow and now we'll just see what I got on my shine okay yeah that, that's fine okay so I'm just going to toggle them off all the glass pieces actually I'm just going to um, actually because we're just doing a um, I'm going to delete the glass as well. So basically, all I've got here is I've got my clip with um, with a motion track using the um, camera track in CS6. I did this in the previous tutorials with the glass. So if you want to know how to, I did it all, then just go look at that. But basically, yeah, we've got all of this motion track, pretty standard stuff, and I've got a no object just on the wall here. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find the explosion I used. Now I'm using the Actions Essentials one and um, be this one here. So I'm just going to drag that in. As you can see, we get this sort of side explosion. A very good just video code by Actions Essentials. That's why I'm using it. Or um, because this is going to be sort of slowed down and frozen, you can just go to um, uh, Google Images get a still image. It doesn't really matter too much, but um, basically, because I had the glass exploding out, I um, just slowed it down. But I, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how to composite it. So I'm going to just uh, freeze frame it. Uh, we'll just find a good spot where it looks quite good. So I think probably about there, and we're just going to right click time and freeze frame or you can obviously just use time remapping and spread it all out a bit and make it slow because I timed it up if you see in my main you can see how um oh wait hold up I shouldn't have just done that I'm just going to undo all of this quickly guys sorry sorry about that I apologize so basically, you I don't because I'm actually still working on. I didn't want to delete that was the actual com. So you can see how I slowed it down, timed it all up. That's basically with some time remapping. So I'm just gonna uh, duplicate this. I apologise for that. And I'm just gonna quickly delete. We still want that. no. All right, my bad. And uh, we'll just find our explosion again. Drag that in. Okay, sorry. So basically, yeah, you can um, time it all up. So you can tweak the time remap, whatever. Um, basically, um, that's pretty standard. If you don't know how to, just type in a tutorial of time remapping um, or with time stretch, whatever. So we have our thing here. I'm just going to probably freeze frame it about there. So we just have a still image of our explosion. And I'm going to turn that off for the moment. Now we want to make this look like it's sort of behind these bars here um, and we can do that by making a mat. Now what we need to do is we need to, we can, I'm just going to go forward where that pole's out of the way. So we'll say we we'll just put, we we'll just hit B so we're starting about here. So I'm just going to make a new solid and we're going to call this explosion mat and it doesn't matter what colour it is and we're just going to get our pen tool and basically we're just going to want a mask. I'm just going to put this up into uh, full without making a mask. And basically, we're just going to want to mask round the parts that we want it not to be shown. So I'm going to go all the way down here, come all the way across, 
and come up and across here and basically all I want I want it to still sort of leak out of the top because if you look in my main here you can see that it still sort of overlaps the top but I don't want it to cut I don't want it to go anywhere near the bottom so that is why um, I am masking all along the bottom but because I would normally mask across here but that would mean that everything would be covered and it wouldn't be able to sort of leak out so I'm just going to do these little uh, bars just to make so just so it can actually poke out the top like so so you could so basically you're just going to want to do this or whatever your clip is like and so you, you make it look like it's sort of real if there's any parts that need covering because I want the explosions to look like they're actually happening in this hallway so I would want the um, mat to be covering up the bottom so it looks like that so what I'm actually going to do is I'm um, just to save time so you would have you would have that all masked and you want to go to the mask path go forward and then you would want to just use your select tool and just realign all of these drag them back across so then they're keyframed and they would hopefully stay but you would want to do a lot of adjusting but save time I'm just going to actually find my um, explosion mat which is here and, uh, just, I'm just going to copy that bring that in here and basically that's just to toggle it on you can see we just got this but what I actually did was I went into my composition here and I had this but I I wanted these to still sort of be there but I didn't want that to be them there fully so I turned the opacity down to 50% that will make it slightly see through and then but I still wanted the bottom to be solid so I made another solid and just key and just keyframed it so it looked like it was still at the bottom and that was our full hundred percent and that one nothing would be leaking through that and um, then just pre compose them together and drag that into its own composition so they were one layer into here as you can see I've keyframed it all so they are all staying and you've got the on the bars there's the little grey solid like so and now what we can do is we just toggle that off because you don't actually need to see that and we can drag that under um, no, sorry above our fireball now what we can do is, I'm actually going to go layer and pre-compose our um, expo fireball, explosion, whatever and we will move all attributes into a new composition like so, so now we have it in our, its own composition so we're just going to open that up and what we can do is, I've also got a uh, dust, dust wave here and we can drag that in and if we were just to drag that on top well, you can see that we got some dust but it's actually facing the wrong way at the moment so I'm just going to go transform and flip it horizontally and now we're just going to want to sort of position it up a bit so we get this sort of dust um, just probably mess around until we get something looking quite good and now what we can do is, you can see we get this half set edge, so we can just get a rectangle tool, go along there, hit F, and just feather it, so we don't get as of a harsh edge as before. Oh, sorry, we want to make it subtract, like so, and then just do a tiny bit of feather, just gets rid of that uh, harsh edge, like so. So that means, so by pre-composing it, you can essentially add anything you want to it. And because we are, um, I'm just going to freeze frame this also, just because we're doing a still image, obviously you may want to use time remapping Twixt or whatever just to time it up to make fit your scene, or you may just want it to look like it's frozen, which I'm going to go for now. So there, we've just got that frozen. I mean, you can make any adjustments you want. You see, you can add glow or whatever, curves, color correct it. But basically we now have that. So we can then toggle that back on, we just got a bit of dust, you can't really see anything. But, okay, so we got a fireball. Now we're going to want to try and put that in 3D space. So we can press F4 or hit the toggle switch down here and click on our 3D cube. Now you can see it's gone It's gone uh, over here. That's because it's uh, slightly forward in the Z space. So basically what I've done is I've gone onto on my motion track clip. I'm just going to delete that and on the camera tracker and we can just pick a point that's along here so we could pick this one here that looks like it's 
a decent track it's staying there and we know that's in the right position because it is literally in front so we can just create a um, you know and it's going to make a new camera but let's delete that I'm just going to delete that other null there so now we have this null here and that's all motion tracked in and looks good basically we can hit P on, our, on that null copy that and paste it onto our fireball so now all that's going to do that's going to put the fire bullet in the same position as the null and as you can see it is motion tracked very nicely so now what we can do is we can just mess around with our fire get it in position now you may want to rotate it very slightly for me it's going to I want it to make it look like it's coming out of the building but you do not want to rotate it all the way around because then you start to lose the perspective and as you will start to fly past you'll be able to see that it's just a uh, 2d layer and it's it's not you know it's not real so you only want a tiny bit of rotation I would say no more than 25 just to so that as you go past it you can you can't actually tell that it's there so now what we can do is we can um, you can see that it's not that the bar isn't in front and it's overlapping here so what we can do is we've got our mat here we can just talk, turn that off with the i key here we can hit f4 again so we get up our track mat options here and we can set the fireball alpha inverted of the explosion mat so as you can see now that is stuck behind it and that bar is also gone slightly in front so wherever we move this it's now going to be stuck behind it like but so so now what we can do is basically all I did was you're just going to want to duplicate them both now you're going to make sure that you click on you only have your fireball selected because if you start to try and move both of them it's going to move your mat off so now the mat is completely out of position here so you would only want to just move the fireball so we can move the fireball around so we can move that one forward a bit and now because you want to randomize it a bit what I did was I typed in turbulent displays we can drag that onto our fireball and you just want to make it look a bit different so you can mess around with the evolution a bit until you get in the amount and complexity until you get something looking a bit different and I just basically duplicated it again um, dragged it along push it back slightly oh sorry I'm mute I'm so yeah, you've got to be careful, do not click on the mat. So we'll just move that back a bit, like so. Uh, we can just mess around with the uh, amount, like so, so we get something different again. As you can see, they're just staying there in the 3D space and they're really nice. So basically all I did was just copied them all the way um, along like so which I, I'm sure you can do now to make this looking real or we what I made then made was a new adjustment there and I can we can call this explosion explosion below like so and we can just get on pentel and obviously if you had all the explosions going all the way down here you would want to mask around it but basically we're just going to do a rough mask leaving a bit of space around our um, explosions like this and basically now what we can do is we can type in glow or style go stylize glow drag that onto our adjustment there come on oh god jesus all right there we go okay so we get this glow here now i'm going to turn down the intensity maybe 0 0.3 something like that and we can go we can change the original colors to A and B colors so down here we can pick our own colors and we can make the uh, first one just a uh, nice sort of orange and we can make the second one a sort of lightish red uh, sort of ready ready orange color uh, so, so we get this sort of uh, glow just play around with the intensity of it leave it at 0.5 and then what you want to do is you just want to up the radius of the glow so then we get this sort of uh, glow all around it and then basically you're just going to want to feather the mask 
by about 200 pixels and as you can see we get this uh, if we just toggle that off and on you can see that we get this sort of fall off really nice glow coming around just makes it look a bit real more realistic because it's actually re sort of reacting with the environment because as you can see if there was fire that would be sort of lit up and uh, that just does it and then also just to make it even more realistic we can make a new solid and we can make this a bright orange make it tan like so so we can make an orange solid and we can just toggle that off grab our pen tool and basically I'm just going to mask along these parts this part here because I know that this would be lit up if there was an explosion you just got to look around your scene and see what would probably be uh, lit up if the explosion was there and I could do a slightly curved thing like that just to give it a bit of variation so now you would see that we have these orange solids and that's where I think the fire would be sort of lighting up the scene it, obviously if you're using a different cinematic then it's going to be different for you um, but now what we can do is we can change the uh, blend, blending mode to classic color burn actually no sorry classic color dodge and as you can see we get it doesn't look amazing at the moment but then we can just drop the opacity until we get something that looks about right oh and feather it by quite a lot to make it not as harsh same with this one here so just feather it out so it's uh, looks a bit better and then you can just play around with the opacity of it until you get something that looks roughly right and I'm just going to feather off that top mask out a bit more I think I'm going to scale up these explosions to about 115 like so so now by just adding those simple pieces of glow you can see that it makes it look a lot more realistic and it makes it look like it's actually there. If I was just to toggle both of these off, that does not look realistic at all. But just by, just by adding that, it makes it look so much more realistic. And basically, guys, that is the... Um, oh, that's my homework I just showed you. Um, so that is basically the tutorial, guys. And then um, all I did was I just used a different type of explosion and more front facing one in uh, this one here and I've got some depth of field going on I just used the front facing one exactly the same principle had to mask out the little bits to make it look like it's actually there and yeah so if you haven't seen the tutorials on the glass forming text and all that then please go check those out they were very cool tutorials something very original now please don't copy these exactly just you know mess around with it see if you can get something looking really cool um, just experiment with it so yeah that is the tutorial guys um, if you have any questions then feel free to leave, leave them in the comments because I understand that this is very advanced especially this this uh, scene here like I had all my elements going you've then got I made I did some depth of field so it's slightly blurred in the background so I've got this uh, depth of field map here and we've got camera blur all that sort of stuff and uh, yeah that was that's quite it'd be extremely advanced and I doubt I'd ever be able to fit that in one tutorial but yeah that's that is basically the tutorial guys I hope you enjoyed this um, please leave a like and yeah I want to see what you can create with this um, something a bit different and I hope you enjoyed if you have any questions as I said leave them down in the comments and thanks a lot guys I will see you on the next tutorial and video and yeah thanks see ya